So Ron is not a fan of small ideas. He likes big ideas. And so uh, we've always supported United Way and we had this little idea that we would all make soup and then we would have a soup lunch and sell the soup and give the money to United Way. That was way too little an idea for Ron. He had the idea that we would bring the soup Nazi from Seinfeld. If you remember that very funny episode where the soup Nazi would stand in line if he didn't like somebody, he'd say, no soup for you. And so he tracked down the guy playing the soup Nazi. He commissioned him to come to Tallahassee. We put on a big event where people could get their picture taken with the soup Nazi and you know raise all of this money for United Way. And that's what he does. He just makes big ideas come to life and doesn't want to be bothered with the small stuff. Very good, very good. You know something? <laughs> no soup for you! Come back, one year! Next! So typical day at Saks Media. There's no typical day at Saks Media because Everyone has their schedule and they have their planned calls and their meetings and then Ron comes in like a hurricane with the latest idea that he's come up with that will make the community a better place and he gets every staff person in the conference room and shares his idea and puts everybody to work to make it a reality. I've known, I've known Ron Sachs now for well over a decade. You know, he's, he had uh, children that went through Leon High School uh, while, I was, while I was principal. And Ron has always been this big idea guy. And uh, you kind of look and laugh like, Ron, really, you think we could do that? I'm like, come on, man, R really? And he's like, no, Rocky, I'm telling you, stay with me, stay with me. And by God, at the end of the day, he's bound to determine that we're gonna get this done. Ron um, came up with a singularly meaningful way for us to celebrate our 20th anniversary with a statewide anti-prejudice campaign. He came up with the idea that Leadership Florida should produce gubernatorial, senatorial, and in one case, presidential primary debates. That one that we produced was shown around the country. And it really, he in a way, more than anyone else, put Leadership Florida on the map as a real force, a real positive force for Florida. You know, when I was governor, I, I, it was uh, not as hyper-partisan as it is now. Everything now is just like blue, red. You know, you, you can't be friends with uh, with someone who may not agree with you on everything. You know, we have these tribal camps. Um, I always found Ron uh, as someone who didn't, didn't operate that way. If there was common ground, he would reach out and find that common ground. Um, look, the world is full of people that always want to push someone down to make themselves look better or fight the fight on the things we disagree on. We need more people like Ron Sachs that uh, pause when there is agreement and work on those things to solve problems. And then, you know, you can have the food fight later, but uh, I wish there were more Ron Sachs in the political process these days. So there are Ronisms, which are little bits of Ron wisdom that he imparts to the firm and to everyone around him, uh, like bad news doesn't age well which means if you have some bad news to share, you better get to him right away and make sure he hears it from you first. He always, he always says, have confidence in your competence. Uh, don't say a positive thing in a negative way, which is ironic because that's a negative statement. After every phone call, at the end of every phone call with my dad, uh, he always says to me and my sisters, love ya, see ya, bye, good talk every time. Another one is don't go home feeling bad about something that happened at the office, which is the rule that he makes everybody, every intern, every new employee swear to, that they will come to him or to another leader at the firm if a client, a coworker, a situation made them feel bad. One thing he always says is be a problem solver 
And if you can't solve the problem, come to me. And I follow that, and I certainly think a lot of people in Tallahassee follow that uh, mindset as well. Ron is very much a product of the 1960s. You know, when John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, he took that to heart. And that has been how he's lived his life. Community service is the most important thing to him. I, the legacy that uh, he counts as most important is, did I give back enough? Ron has once shared, shared that um, during your lifetime, the first 30 years, you're learning. The second 30 years, you're earning. And in that last phase of your life, you're giving back. But I can tell you that Ron has been giving back through every phase of his life because that's just who Ron Sachs is. Ron never takes credit alone for anything. He brings everyone into the tent and that is such a level of generosity, giving other people credit, making them feel important. So even though the idea may have been his creation, getting it done, he recognizes, requires a big team. And he's always in there working just as hard as anyone else is. So with the best and brightest ceremony that, that Ron brought to Tallahassee and Leon County from South Florida, uh, it, it centers around the idea of community service and how our young people are getting involved to help those in need. And it's really a way for those kids, those teenagers, to model for the younger students that are coming behind them. And so now we see as a result of this program and the attention that it's received, middle school kids, elementary school kids, doing amazing things in the name of community service. And so it just has that trickle down effect. But again, I'm just so thankful for Ron, his vision. This was his baby, you know, this was his child and, and he was destined that it would succeed. And not only has, has it succeeded, uh, it surpassed anything I could have ever imagined. when it was clear that Leon County Schools needed funding for infrastructure because, you know, classrooms were falling apart and there weren't, you know, the adequate supplies that teachers needed and the air conditioning wasn't working in this classroom. Um, he approached it like a journalist and said, we need to take people on a tour, take the media on a tour, put them on a bus, let them see exactly what our students and our teachers are dealing with. So, for the last 25 years now, we've had a sales tax initiative that has generated over $500 million to, for new construction. We built Conley Elementary School, Montfort Middle School for remodeling and renovation projects at aging schools, for technology in the classroom, to purchase new school buses. None of that would have happened without this initiative and Ron Sachs' leadership. I think when people think about Ron Sachs, he will be remembered as somebody who loved his community, loved to give back, loved to engage with people who were interested in supporting and giving back to this community, and that he did it with all of his heart. He was all in. I can't think of anyone more worthy of this recognition than Ron Sachs. Uh, it gives us a chance as a community to say thank you, to lift him up and to show our gratitude for all that he has done for many, many years to help our community grow and, and prosper. And again, I'm just so happy for him, happy for his family, and just wish him nothing but the very best in the future. Ron has this saying that you can't have two bad days in a row. Uh, no matter you know what trials you're dealing with, you gotta pick yourself up, you have to look at the sunrise and you have to be optimistic about the future because your attitude is contagious with others. And even uh, with the hardest things I've seen him uh, deal with, the things that are such a weight on his heart, he wakes up every day and pulls himself into a positive frame of mind.
to look at that sunrise and make something positive happen that day. I think my dad's legacy will be his his generous heart and how much he's he's helped people in his lifetime. Um, he wants to be there when people need him, and I, I think that will that will be remembered always.